Hello. 30 seconds to go. We are back at the community racing festival with another race. Relatively short, around 18 kilometer, 19 people currently on the start line. Uh, I just arrived from a business trip to Krakow in Poland. So I landed yeah, around, around one and a half hours ago, oh, one hour ago. And uh, yeah, back on the bike. Gotta get it done. So let's see what the legs have after a flight. It was a short flight, so should not be too much impact. Group is relatively small, so don't think we need to go too hard in the beginning. But uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, the legs feel quite okay. I did uh, eight kilometer run in the morning, eight, seven, seven and a half, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, legs feel quite good. A lot of time in the car today. I was visiting three different cities for work, looking at operations in a few of our stores. So busy day. Got up very early, 5:30. And uh, yeah, so now a little swift race, 60 meter elevation, quite short. So I think we're heading down Tempus Fugit, and then at the roundabout, we're going to turn off Tempus onto the coastal road, which is part of the newer segments. And as always, I do like my time in the front of the race because yeah I was also training you know and that uh, pace actually is around 300 320 watts it doesn't hurt me so much what hurts me is the surges so if you are all right a steady tempo that is relatively high maybe there will be less surges let's see I don't mind Pacing a little bit. I don't think there will be a break early, but it's quite flat. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, 21 people in total now. Still two more who sneaked in before the start. And I recently got some feedback that people say, oh, I shouldn't be racing here. Should be in the first category. Well, as soon as my racing score is so high that I'm not allowed to race here, I won't. But as long as I can, I do enjoy it because I still think it's quite competitive. Also for my level, I've not won any race, so obviously I'm not the strongest. But uh, also that the second cat races, there's much more people. So in the A race today, or the cat one race, there was like three or four signups, so here's 20. So it's nice to have a few more people riding, just because there is no no more people, or not so many people racing in, in A. And yeah, I'm also I'm not holding back to stay in Cat 2, like some people did with the Cat B races in the early days. So I'm giving my best in every race, in every race the category that I'm allocated as my point of view. So here we come to the entrance gate of Tempus. Let's see what power up we get. Uh, three different ones. We have Ghost, Feather and Arrow. I hope an Arrow. Nice. So we maybe will actually keep that until the end of the race. Also something that is worth thinking about because if you want to uh, maybe have your best sprint the arrow is the best power up so if you have a ghost or a feather in the end maybe pretty useless so to get a good power up and there's not like a steep hill where you would maybe drop when you have a feather um, sometimes it's worth not using the power up even if you get another one because maybe the one that you will get is worse than the one that you have 
Is that a break? I don't know. Six watts per kilogram, I let him go. I don't mind chasing. Oh, I don't need to chase. That's only one or two people. If it's more, we'll just speed up a little bit. And you will see that's coming back together pretty quickly. It's completely flat. 20 people group. I think they're getting away. No, you don't. So just a few seconds at five to six watts per kilogram. Not too extreme. And we're basically back together as a group. A bit stretched, but that's fine. And you see the guy in the very front already back at two watts per kilogram, which means that break is going nowhere. <laughs> so, I must say, it's pretty exhausting to average 350 watts and talk all the time. So, it's not so much my legs, but more my cardiovascular system, which gets a bit tired when you talk at high power. So, I will not stop talking, but taking it back a little bit to maybe around 300, 320, staying in the group, nice and steady. <sighs> and that's much better. Yeah, I really must say that the fitness is quite okay for T100. The T100 is a triathlon format. It's a little bit like a half Ironman. A little bit worse for me because the swim is 100 meter longer. The bike is 10k shorter. So it's basically 2k swim, 80k bike, 18k run to make 100k. So this format will take place in Dubai in actually exactly one week. So next weekend and I'll be racing there and uh, it's also the pro final of the race series so a lot of the world's best middle distance pros will be racing so it will be nice to maybe catch up with a few people say hi and then uh, have a race by myself but uh, yeah the the only issue is that it's like a multi-lap course and multi-lap courses with thousands of participants I think it will be 2,000 participants are nasty loads of drafting dangerous because people can't handle the bike that well maybe some slower ones that are swerving around and you're flying on towards them with 50k an hour so Let's see, I haven't finally decided if I will race, but uh, yeah, uh, definitely will be in Dubai for two weeks to do a lot of riding, meeting friends, because as you maybe know, I lived there for two years, so I quite like the city, especially from a sports perspective, and now the weather is beautiful. 25 to 30 degrees, so a lovely temperature. Ay, ay, ay. Talking, talking, talking. Still at 340 average, which is okay. The legs feel solid, quite happy. Don't know if it was the one day of cycling or the two glasses of red wine, actually three, uh, that I had at the airport before the flight. So maybe they just numb the pain and I'm actually suffering. My well, heart rate is quite fine. 150, it's just like zone three heart rate. And uh, yeah, so actually feeling okay. 50 meter elevation left, 12K to go. Riding all the way on the front, but I don't care. I don't take it that seriously. I get out sprinted by somebody because I rode at the front. That's fine. I got good effort in. Helps me to train for my triathlon. And uh, we'll focus on the 
swift racing raciness in some other bigger races that might be coming in the future. Uh, I actually quite enjoyed that pace. Heart rate going down, 148. On 338 ever, so it's a bit too high for 80 kilometer ride, but if I can push between 300 and 310 in the triathlon, I should be able to do maybe 43 to 44 kilometer an hour average. There's another sprinter trying to get away. Uh, I don't really know where you're going, but you're not getting too far. So, two or three people, accelerate a little bit. No concerns yet. Somebody use the ghost. All good, all good. Don't need to go too hard. We'll all see each other again soon, as a group. And there we are. So now I do need a little bit of recovery. Because these surges, where I go into the red, they are what's hurting me. I don't like them. Riding at 340, 350, fine. Going into 400 plus, ouch. Oh. But anyway, still solid, solid effort, almost halfway through. Boy, I apologize for the karate kid look, but I really need a haircut. Already scheduled for tomorrow evening, just before flying back into the heat. So, now I need to take it down a notch. Just a little bit, staying close to the front. Nice. Oi, oi, oi. Why am I still at the front? I pushed 40 watts less. Nobody's want, nobody want to work. Okay. Come on guys, do some work. I'll take the tempo off. 250, 260. Here we go. Somebody else is working. A little bit. Wow, it's like zone two riding. <laughs> Sweat band is full already. Uh, too much hair on the head, but no problem. Towel supply is always close. Whew. That's pretty chilled now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, probably if you have a smaller group. The chance that the race is hard is of course smaller. And you've seen in surges that the people can still push hard that are in this group, but they race the race. I don't care if I get first or tenth. I want to do good effort today. There's other races where I want to do good. But today, ah, come on, just having fun Riding in the front, enjoying the view, fresh air, no smelly butts. So, I'm good, I'm good. Not complaining. Good thing when you're in the front is you can ride your own tempo. So, I want to take it a bit easier, take it a bit easier, and you might drop into the wheel of somebody else. You want to push it a bit harder, Stay in the front and push a bit harder, and the others will hang in you. So, all good. Always fine. So, we're now entering the coastal road. We turned off 
uh, Temple Stuget at the roundabout. And uh, we have a bit of rolling ups and downs uh, to come. So let's see if there actually will be some attacks coming on the uphills, which is possible. Maybe not the first one, but I would definitely expect it. The group still together, so 20 people. So let's aim for the top 10, should be the minimum. Um, the top five would be very nice if I manage a good sprint. Which is always the question for me, because I'm not the best in timing my sprints, which I got feedback already quite a few times in the comments. So let's aim for going a bit earlier today, because we do have an arrow, so we should be able to build up some speed. And then let's see if we can hang on to a better sprint. That's the goal. But first we need to come to the sprint. Which means 7k to go. And then maybe with 400 meter to go, we will launch. Which is, yeah, maybe 20. 25 seconds, 20 seconds. Whew. Need to get the heart rate down a bit. 160 is too high. Easy. Easier. Not easy, but keeping it around 300. Which, strange to say that's easy, but doesn't feel hard. Maybe stretching the legs a little bit on the uphill part. Yeah, uphill. It's not really a lot of uphill. Small bump. And back down again. As you hear, you don't hear anything because I'm using the swift click. So the, the uh, electric shifting buttons that come with the Swift cock. Uh, I don't have the Swift cock installed, but I installed the, the click on my handlebar to use the, the electric shifting and reduce the, the noise from shifting while recording and also just increase the duration I can use the cassette. Because if you wear out one cock, you just shift to another cock and use the electric shifting. So one cassette would actually last, I don't know, 50,000 kilometers, maybe more. So, okay, so here we have a bit of another little bump. And then short downhill short uphill and then quite a bit of flat and I don't know where the finish is exactly so I'll figure that out ah. see over 400 I'm suffering oh. good that we have some downhill now <coughs> oh. apologies and here we go, down the hill, and then short uphill, maybe 30 seconds, and then almost all flat until the finish, mostly. So it's just important to pay attention that don't get dropped. But besides that, groups should stay together. Yes. Yeah, we've seen a few surges. Not much was happening there. So let's hope the same 
will be the case when we go up here now. It's not that much, I mean, see it on the map, it's short bump, maybe 10, 15 meter elevation. And it will be called uphill, up bump. It's riding with a little grade. But you see, it's always potential risk of attacks. So staying in the front group, responding a bit to some surges. And after that, it's flat again. So <coughs> not too concerned as long as you're staying in the front group. Whew. So 20 minutes at 3.40 while talking all the time. Oh, not bad. Heart rate 168, that's bad. That's too high. Breathe. Let's get the heart rate low a bit. Come on. Bit lower power. Yeah, dropping. Not me, the heart rate. Six beats down, seven, eight, and we're below 160. Nice. It's always a good indicator for being quite fit and fresh is when you're able to reduce your heart rate while containing a quite high power output. As you've just seen, my heart rate dropped over 10 beats, but I'm still riding. So maybe it was an average on 300, 320. So that's good, like that. Oh, somebody used the ghost, trying to get away with 3K to go. And now we have some, some other people pushing. Good. That won't be the only one. I'm just trying to respond to the moves, but not move, pulling, pulling the moves back. So stay in some wheels. Be always aware in case the wheels let the one in front go. You can push, but if not, save some energy on the way back to the front, which we're doing nicely, nicely done, nicely done. 2.3k to go, still have the arrow power up, so I'd say we're getting ready for a sprint. Still have an uphill to, a downhill to come. which uh, I don't think will cause any problems. And then it's flat to the finish, as I can see. So, arrow power up, sprint finish on the flat, legs okay. Come on, Volker. Huh? Should be able to get a good one done. Good sprint. Over a thousand watts. Should be. Has to be. Short recovery on the downhill. Before it will ramp up for the sprint. 1.3 to go. Less than a mile to go for my Americans. 1.2. 
1.1. Group is together. Big sprint. Let's see. Can I tighten my shoe? No. Too late. 1K to go. Arrow power up. The last 15 seconds. So I should use it in a way that I will reach my top speed at the end of the power. We we'll start accelerating 700 meters. Six hundred. Sprinting from the front, that's fine. Five hundred. Accelerating. Four hundred. Accelerating. Let's go with three hundred. Three hundred. Let's go. one same time hold smokes Whoa. there is the wind and you can see in the power numbers I was pushing so much harder than the others but that's fine I actually enjoyed it. Whoa, that was nice. That was really nice. So we have average heart rate, 155, uh, 338 average power, and the rest you can see, one minute uh, over 600, just solid. And uh, yeah, sprint over over a thousand for five. So happy with that. Thanks for watching. See you on Swift. Bye.